Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I am going to answer one of you lovelies question and I will read that in a moment. Stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming on back. Again, I have a letter from the viewer that I have on my phone. I'm going to go ahead. It's very short, sweet, to the point, which thank you for that. And I'm going to read this. I will exclude the person's name. Okay, so hi. I came across a few of your videos, and I was glad I did because the information was very helpful. Thanks, girl. <laughs> also, I wanted to ask, should I just back off by not responding back to his text messages and calls as well as keep it short with him? Meaning, since he wants to keep me as in the friend zone, that being said, no more cuddling and helping him out. Thank you for your time, and I hope you can assist me with this issue, and I will continue to find more of your helpful videos. You are the best. Well, thank you, honey. Thank you for all of that. I want all of that. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is actually very easy for me. I wanted to come and do this because I'm sure that a few people have dealt with an issue such as this. He is keeping her in the friend zone, but he has, um, I'm sorry, not he, but they have been cuddling and she has been helping him out. Now, I don't know what the helping him out actually means in this instance. Is it helping him out with moving? Is it helping him out with money? Is it helping him out with sex? I mean, what is it that you're helping him out with specifically? Um, so I'm going to answer that portion and what I think that you actually mean but I don't really know you didn't specify what the helping him out so if he is keeping you in the friend zone then I think that you should keep it very straightforward platonic keep it in the friend zone friends don't cuddle okay I'm gonna say that again friends don't cuddle friends don't have sex now we're not talking about friends with benefits we're talking about strictly platonic friends they don't cuddle. You don't get none of that as the friend. You ain't getting the booty as a friend. You ain't, you, you know what, with the money, it depends on what it is for. And I hate to say that, but when you're asking me for money, if it depends on what it's for, if I'm going to give it to you. If it's for some, what I deem as BS, you ain't getting my money, huh, T? <laughs> but if I can help you out as one of my friends, and, and, and we have to discuss if this is a borrow situation or if this is a I'm going to give you a gift situation, those are things that I need to understand before I give you my hard-earned money. So if he's keeping you in the friend zone, he's keeping you there for a reason. It sounds like he doesn't want to have a relationship with you for whatever reason, because it does not matter what that reason is. Because when a guy truly is into you, there is nothing that is going to hold him away from being with you. Nothing. I had a... Um, uh, a question actually asked me on one of my recent videos or one of my previous videos excuse me and she basically wanted to know something very similar to this she, she stopped having sex with him and actually um, cuddling with him as well and he wanted to keep her in the friend zone again friends don't get booty friends don't get cuddles only thing that friends get is the time effort and energy with with all of the laughs that come with it that's it we don't sleep in the same bed. There is no caressing all of my body. There is no oral sex. There is no anal sex. There is no uh, ordinary or vanilla sex. There is none of that when we are friends. If you keeping me in the friend zone, I have to decide if I want to stay your friend or not and act accordingly. There is no extras when you are a friend. Okay? You don't get all extras when you are a friend <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, so I just wanted to address this part. Should I back off by not responding back to his text messages and calls and keep it short with him? I guess you ask, you're asking that because he's keeping you in the friend zone. That really all depends on you and what you want. If you know that you like this particular guy, 
much more than he seems to like you, then yes, I would suggest you backing off because you are going to start to build an emotional connection with this guy and he is not looking at it the same way that you are. What what I am saying is that you can periodically um, like hang out with him or periodically answer his calls and his text messages. But to do that on a regular basis and he's keeping you in the friend zone and you know that you want more, you are only going to be the one to get hurt in the long run because a lot of times people only do, nope, not a lot of times, every time, excuse me, every time people only do to you what you allow them to do to you. In this instance, if you allow all of the cuddling, he's going to take it. If you allow any of the sex that I mentioned, he's going to take it. If you allow any of the financial gain without a, a, a contract, and I know that sounds kind of ruthless or whatever, but whatever, I'm going to move past that. If it's not a gift, it probably needs to be some type of a contract, but I'm going to move past that. Uh, you have to deal with the financial way that you're going to deal with it. But it, again, you didn't specifically say what the helping out meant. So I'm just throwing some of these things in there just in case I hit the nail on the head because you didn't specify. So yes, I definitely think that you should start to keep it as short as possible with him. And that way you can slowly but surely distance yourself from said guy and be able to move on with your life. Now, my family, what is the information that you guys can actually share with her? Don't dog her out because we're all here to learn from one another. Have you ever been in this situation? What did you actually do to get out of the situation? How did you pull away? Was it cold turkey? Did you actually inch away? Meaning less and less answering of the call, less and less answering of the text messages. How did you actually get away from the situation? Or are you on the flip side of it? You started off in a situation like this and now the guy is now pursuing you full force and maybe in a relationship has ensued from this particular relationship, from this particular um, situation. I would love to hear it. I'm sure she would love to read it. Definitely go ahead and answer those questions and put your information down in the um, comment section below and so we can keep this conversation going on and on. Now if you too have a question go ahead and use that email address that is down in the description box below and send me your question as well. I will definitely answer it and so you too can have peace of mind here at I Love Me 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 because I love supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic, and sane relationships. All right, so we can decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again soon. Deuces.